welcome to today that is 10th of january's godly blessing supreme god father has a plan for us and he's saying that if you want to make somebody feel your peace your happiness your joy sitting in your own place right now where so where you're listening from and that person is sitting thousands of kilometers away in another city or another country if you want that person to feel the joy and the power and the peace and find out solutions for their life then you have to do something which you're going to listen to in this beautiful vardan are you ready let's go ahead god says may you be a master almighty authority master of my mind intellect almighty authority godly powers in my control his love his power in my control i am in an authority of that and give souls sitting far away the experience of closeness with your power of spirituality is it possible yes let's explore it god says with the facilities of science telephone mobile phone satellite internet wifi you are able to experience things far away to be close to you isn't it so you can find out what's happening in Pakistan or you can find what's happening in Europe or what's happening in Russia sitting over here in the same way with your divine intellect but it has to be divine pure intention has to be very pure and very generous and very god like that can happen when you meditate with the divine intellect you are able to experience something far away to be close to you that means you can even understand what's going to happen in the future you can understand what's going to happen to a country to a city to a person in the coming future that's the power which you can get through meditation that means your sixth sense becomes powerful then god says just as you are able to see speak to and give and take cooperation you are able to see speak to give and take cooperation from those who are with you in the same way with the with your power of spirituality now that was science now with the power of spirituality is thought power pure divine you can give soul sitting far away the experience of closeness when somebody is lonely far away let's say a child is staying in some of the city some of the country doing his job over there and if the mother wants to send him good wishes good thoughts good vibrations so that the job interview or the promotion or something good happens in his life then the soul that is the mother can do so provided this divinity and you know why just for the child why not for the whole world if you open up the pandora's box then you can do it for the whole world and who's going to support you in that the supreme creator but if you only think about your family your members and only then god says okay you are thinking limited then you need a limited power but if you're thinking nationally internationally the for the whole world okay i am there for you unlimited which form of god do you want for yourself unlimited with you or limited with you So think about who, not just your children, not just your family, not just your friends, for the whole world. Then God opens up His Pandora's box of powers and love and peace and purity for you. Then God says, in the same way, with the power of spirituality, you can give souls sitting far away the experience of closeness. For this, you simply need to be stable in the stage of a master almighty authority that means i have control over my thoughts and feelings and they are very pure and clean and clear and have a full and perfect stage no mood swings if you have any mood swings and you are thinking of sending good wishes and prayers let's say certain religions they preach that or teach that also let's pray for somebody else and you're praying with a lot of uh, stress you're praying with a lot of tension your prayers are not going to reach because their bandwidth is not good enough if you're thinking from the worry point of view and you're saying god please help them out god please show my son my daughter the pathway it's never going to reach it has to come from a higher frequency it has to come from a purer frequency a frequency of no waste thoughts how will it happen who will do it a frequency of no doubtful thoughts a frequency of no worry yeah you can have concern but not worry there's a difference between both god then says in a stage of master almighty authority and have a full and perfect stage and to make your power of thought clean the intention has to be very clean only then can it go if it's for you yourself the benefit and you say oh i hope that person does that work so that i benefit out of it it's not clean you see there's a difference it has to be very pure and very clean 
Yeah, it's like uh, tuning the frequency so that the right kind of frequency reaches that antenna or reaches that phone. It has to be that. It has to be so precise. Science is trying to do that, right? That's how you're receiving this beautiful message or the Vardhan on your YouTube. Imagine if the frequency wasn't set. This data couldn't be uploaded onto the satellite and couldn't be reached out to you or couldn't be uploaded in some city in US in those big giant now it's on the cloud, big giant servers where they store everything. How will it come to you? So it is so precise in science, how precise and clean and clear it has to be in our case. Yes, it has to be clean and pure intention. How do you do that? How do you make your mind pure and clean and clear? Is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris by connecting yourself to the Supreme Creator. As shown over here, the point of divine light, God is light. You too can do it. With this Om Shanti.